So there's this super cool thing called Maven. That's what we were using here. See this MVN? That's a short for Maven, Maven repository. Maven is a tool to help you manage your dependencies. Rather than explaining it, I'm gonna go just show you how it works. This is also from Apache Foundation. See, you can see with the little feathers and the V there. A build automation tool. Hmm. Basically, you use it to <clears throat> gather the items that you need for your code and then also to package your code in certain ways so it can be deployed or um, published. Lots of different stuff. I, mean, I should just stop now. But anyway, so I was showing you a moment ago about how we had to get the, the library for the commons.io and put it in the lib directory and then we had to add it to the class path. Well, there's another way to do that with uh, Maven. And you can imagine if you're working on a pretty big project, you could have quite a lot of dependencies. So this is what you do. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on my project. I'm gonna go down to, I'm going to go to configure. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna convert to Maven project. All right, this wants me to give it a name. All this stuff's fine. Okay, and what it's done is it's created this file for me. You can see it over here, it's at the root. It's always called palm.xml, and that stands for Project Object Model. And in this file are all the details that Maven needs to build your project. So what it has done already is it's created this for me, and then it's also hooked itself up in my build path. <clears throat> now you can see it has Maven dependencies here. Okay, so the reason that we had we, we had a need for this is because we had to go and find the commons jar. And then I was over there and I was like, these guys need to know about this. So in the Raven repository, what you would usually do is just grab this piece of text. This is going to go inside my palm and it's going to tell me that my project requires this stuff. The commons.io jar and then the version. Okay, this is a brand spanking new one, so I actually need to make the dependencies tab like that. And then I'm gonna paste my stuff in there and it looks pretty ugly, so I'm gonna format. Okay, now I'm going to completely remove my lib directory. Okay, did you expect things to break? Because file utils isn't part of this. Okay, so what happened was I got rid of that lib directory, but I didn't remove it from my class path. So when you see an exclamation point over there like that, that means you've got to look at your class path. It's most likely there's something wrong over there. And you can see a big old red X on top of here. So I'm just going to remove that. But I can also, while I'm here, see that I've got this thing called Maven dependencies, which got magically added by Eclipse by the Maven plugin for Eclipse, which comes a standard, and it's uh, got the comments jar in there already. How does it know that? Well, it knows that just because I pasted that text in this palm file. Okay, so now I'm able to run my code, and I don't have that, I don't have that jar anymore. So what it's actually went and done is Maven, has gone through this file, it's like, okay, she needs this thing. It's gone over to the internet, it's downloaded this jar, it's looked to see which version that I want. And then it's gotten all up in my file system and in this directory, in my home directory, in this .m2, it's put the jars for me. This is a whole bunch of other things I'm using, but see, commons.io. And there's all the stuff that I asked it to get. Okay, so this is going to be helpful for us in the next thing that we're doing. So that's why I thought it was a good time to do it. Your task is to turn the stock filter project, which you should have, GitHub, go to my GitHub, 
um, your stock filter project from last lesson to be mavenified. You gotta mavenify this. I know this isn't mavenified yet because there's no palm there. There's no palm XML. If I look at um, some other things that we've used, like that Java FX base. So I made this palm so that you guys, when you downloaded this base, it would automatically get all of the Java FX stuff, which otherwise is pretty gnarly to set up. So this palm had all of the dependencies that were needed for that. And then it's got some more information here about how to build the project. Okay, so add a Mavenify your stock filter and we're gonna be adding some things. You should probably add the commons IO if you feel like doing that. And then we're gonna be parsing some JSON. So that's what we needed to. All right, good luck, see ya.